hello there welcome to my channel today we're making healthy tuna and egg salad let's have a look at the ingredients so i have organic iceberg lettuce sesame seeds tuna flakes some in the um, bowl and some in the tin i have baked beans I have pumpkin seeds, which is optional, cucumber, bell pepper, hard boiled egg. I have carrots, tomatoes, onion here. I have cooked sweet potatoes. You can use Irish potatoes. I have lemon, oregano, dill, my parsley, and basil. So you can use any fresh herb spices or dry complete seasoning. And I have my extra virgin olive oil. So I'm starting off by shredding some of my carrots. You can decide to cut it into any shape if you don't want to shred it. That's cool. But shredding it makes it easy to chew. And it's child friendly. So if you have kids, it's advisable to shred your carrots. But if you want, as I said, you can cut it into any shape of your choice. And let me use this chance or this opportunity to welcome all new persons here. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do so. Subscribe and share to your family and friends. Turn on post notifications as well. And get ready for some healthy recipes. So I'm done shredding. I'm not shredding all the carrots. But I've shredded majority of it. So the next thing is to cut my cucumber. Again, you can cut the cucumber into any shape or size. So the veggies are cut according to your preference. So this is how I'll be cutting my cucumber. I've divided this into two. So more or less the whole cucumber has been divided into four. I'll divide some into two for garnishing. So basically I'm cutting my veggies and my lettuce is here so I'm just tearing it into uh, more or less some pieces just take it and then use your hand to tear it if you like you can also cut it on the chopping board if you want it cut into smaller pieces but this way is easier for me and it's convenient I like to chew my veggies or carrots and then have a feel of it. So this is my shredded carrots going in. So it's just about mixing the veggies that have been cut. I've cut my potatoes, my... Um, so this part of the shredded carrots, my potatoes have been cut into two different shapes. Some for mixing, some for garnishing. My bell pepper, my onion... And then my cucumber too is here. So basically this is how I've cut my veggies. So in the mixing process. So this is my potatoes. Those have been chopped into smaller pieces in there. Then my onion. I wouldn't use all. So be sure to leave some of the veggies. Don't use all during the mixing process. You would need some to garnish it because once you mix it, some of the veggies will be hidden. So I'm just um, using three quarters each of my veggies. And then my carrot for garnishing has been cut like the onions. And these are my bell peppers going in there then part of the cucumber and then more of the shredded carrot so just give that a mix and add some of the tuna flakes to mix with it so some of the tuna flakes will remain while some goes in there these are my herb spices time to make the salad dressing so I'm just putting all my herb spices together. That's the basil, oregano, parsley, and dill. You can use um, add garlic. You can use any um, herb spices of your choice. You can even decide to add chili pepper 
to it if you want it a bit spicy that's all up to you so just chop it into pieces and then i'm done so i have a small mason jar if you don't have the small mason jar don't worry just get a small bowl maybe a bowl that has a lid something that you can cover to mix your salad dressing in so this is extra virgin olive oil it's always advisable to make your dressing with olive oil or canola oil these oils are healthy so my lemon i'm just putting my fingers in there to serve as a sieve so that the seeds of the lemon doesn't go into my dressing so just squeeze the juice into the oil and uh, herb spices close it and then give it a shake the essence is to get everything a mix well so my herb spices extra virgin olive oil and then lemon as i said you can add garlic or chili pepper or any herb spices of your choice or even the complete seasoning if that's what you have So just transfer the mixed veggies and the tuna flakes into a serving dish or another bowl. You can decide to leave it in the bowl that you've used to mix and then do your garnishing. So just a quick mix and then time to do the garnishing. So you place the veggies in such a way that one vegetable doesn't overshadow the rest you are able to see all the veggies on your salad or on, the, on top of the salad so that it looks a bit colorful and attractive so my um, carrot for garnishing i did not shred it i just cut it as i said i cut it like the onion this is already colorful then my sesame seeds the sesame seeds are optional but i always add them to my meals because they are very healthy they are rich in fiber calcium and other essential nutrients so i just add it to anything that i'm going to eat except water <laughs> so still in the garnishing process but at this stage you are free to eat your salad your salad is ready after mixing it your salad is ready but this is just to make it attractive and colorful once food is colorful or attractive you'll be hungry or you'll be invited to eat but if the food isn't that attractive no matter how delicious it is you might be reluctant to eat so garnish it according to your style this is how i garnish mine this is one of the ways in which i garnish my salad so you garnish it according to your style it looks colorful right so time to lay in my eggs i have the egg slicer if you don't have the egg slicer you can use a knife to cut your eggs that's cool but once you use the slicer you get a lot from a lot of them um, a lot of pieces from it so and they are evenly cut as well as compared to using a knife so this is what some um a lot of people do during garnishing they tend to put the eggs or they use the eggs to cover the veggies always leave some veggies before you add in the eggs so when you put the eggs and you add in more veggies for it to be more colorful but once you put the eggs on the veggies you don't see the veggies all you see is eggs and it doesn't make it really attractive so as you can see i'm adding in more of my veggies 
so you see your eggs you see the rest of the veggies that you fused in the, the salad so anybody who sees your salad will know that okay well this is what the salad is made of so it's love with our tuna i've used one to mix with the veggies in there and this will garnish it so someone sees it and have an idea that okay this is tuna and egg salad you don't have to hide your ingredients everything should show yep I'm just adding in some more veggies the veggies that are hidden try to let them show then sprinkle more of the sesame seeds So this is just some small baked beans I have. I don't want to open these baked beans because I'm afraid I won't finish and it will get bad. So you can add more baked beans. But as I said, be sure not to use the baked beans to cover your ingredients or to cover the rest of the ingredients. So time to add in my dressing. If you have avocado, you can feel free to add avocado. It's unfortunate I don't have avocado. But if you have avocado, you can feel free to add avocado. But avocado should be on top because when it's with the veggies, it easily goes off. So I'm just adding in my pumpkin seeds to garnish. Pumpkin seeds are very good. They are very healthy and nutrients packed. So I'm adding in pumpkin seeds. So if you have pumpkin seeds, you can just throw them in if you don't have to don't bother yourself so basically this is it our tuna and egg salad is ready and i can't wait to eat i hope you to try it so my tuna and egg salad is ready and trust me this is very very yummy and healthy with homemade dressing no salad cream or no artificial dressing it's super yummy and healthy so i'll show you how the baked beans will be or how um the baked beans will look when you add to your salad including the avocado so that you don't use your baked beans to cover your veggies this is how your salad should look if you add baked beans or avocado thank you so much for watching see you soon bye